Diaries Chapter 8C They kept pace with her, slowing when she slowed, but keeping just out of her reach. They were playing some kind of game, she decided. Jody moved towards the dolphin on her right. He immediately moved away, out of reach, but only just, keeping the same distance between them. And then, the same time that Jody pulled away, the dolphin on her left moved, moved towards her. It was almost like a dance. The thought gave her an idea. She began to swim in a zigzag pattern. The two dolphins copied her. She went up and down as well as from side to side, trying all sorts of different movements. Although she couldn't watch them that well, she was pretty sure that they were both keeping up with her crazy routines. Jody looked around for her mother and saw that she was hoovering in the water not far away, face to face with the smallest dolphin. She noticed that the bubbles were coming out of the dolphin's blowhole too, and she wondered if the dolphin were imitating the rising stream of bubbles that accompanied all scuba divers. Then she caught a glimpse of her father swimming along on his side, pointing the video camera in its bright yellow waterproof shell. And now, for your entertainment, Jodie McGrath and the dolphin dance, do, dolphin, Jodie McGrath and the dolphin, dancing dolphin duo, she thought, waving to him and pointing at herself. She swam lower towards the seabed. The other two dolphins suddenly appeared out of nowhere right in front of her. One of them shot down to the ocean floor, rooted around in the sand with its nose, and then emerged with a prize in its jaw, a starfish. This seems to be the signal for a new game. Excited clicking and chattering noises came from all around. Jody's dancing partners abandoned her and rushed towards the one with the starfish, but it shot away and the others chased it. Jody could only stare after them, wishing she could play too, but she didn't have the speed for this game. Four dolphins all ganged up on the one with the starfish. For a few moments there were five tumbling, whirling bodies in a cloud of bubbles. Then the turmoil broke up. One of the dolphins streaked away, coming back towards Jody. She saw that this one, she couldn't tell if it was the same or a different one, carried a starfish. It swam above her. She saw the paler belly, and then it suddenly swooped down and dropped the starfish. The starfish drifted down through the water until Jody stopped its process, progress by catching it in her hand. <clears throat> what now? she wondered. They were all watching her, waiting for something. What was she supposed to do? She didn't like the idea of trying to outswim them with it and being mobbed by all six dolphins. But it was useless trying to throw it for them. It would go no distance before drifting towards the bottom. Then one of the dolphins moved away from the others and swam towards her. It swam very close, on a level with her hands, close enough for her to touch, and then opened its mouth. Jody stared at the regular triangular teeth that lined its jaws. Then very carefully she placed the starfish between them. The dolphin gave a series of rapid clicks as he closed his mouth gently on the starfish. Then he flipped over on his back and shot rapidly away with his friends in noisy pursuit. This time they all rose upwards, giving Jody a unique dolphin's eye view of their activities. Jody kicked off from the bottom and swam upwards, wanting to join them, but she was too slow. It was like a baby trying to join a football game, she thought. Humans could play with dolphins only when the dolphins were willing to make the game slow, simple and gentle enough for the land living creatures to keep up. But as Jody trailed after them, but as she trailed after them, Jody thought she was incredibly lucky to be allowed to come so close to these wonderful, graceful creatures in the sea. All too soon, all too soon she saw her mother signal to return to the surface. Playtime was over. That will be all for chapter 8.